Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review on the Bahama Bay Beach Cart. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through just some of the features of this cart. I'll walk you through a little demo of just kind of moving it around, as well as showing you some capabilities in terms of collapsing it uh, for travel. So let's really start with the setup of this. Um, in terms of just getting this out of the box, it has a large carrying bag here, um, which is really convenient. This actually zips up on one corner, and then you have two carrying handles here. Um, these basically allow you to hold the entire cart inside of this bag. Um, it just has a little uh, pamphlet here for their branding on it, and you can also carry it here from the base as needed, but this basically allows you to put the cart folded up inside of this and move it around a little bit easier. Once the cart is out, um, you have a large piece here that goes in the center. This basically can be removed and you have a mesh bottom and there's steel bars that kind of go through at an angle on all corners. And then you have a large pull piece here. So if I want to um, collapse the entire thing, you can actually pull this up and the whole thing will um, pretty much move together. All the wheels will just go into the center. You can move the carrying um, pull rod right up and then you could store it inside the bag. It does provide instructions um, with pictures right on the actual piece here, so you'll actually never lose these. Um, I'd recommend even flipping this around if you want, or maybe just moving this on the underside so it doesn't get ruined as you carry things. Um, you do have very, very large wheels here. It seems to be really, really well made. So if you're gonna be bringing this over like rough terrain, um, it has kind of a grooved piece here in the center. And then you also have these um, edges that go around all of the, uh, the corners of the entire wheels. Um, all the wheels can fully rotate um, 360 so you can go all directions with this. You also have a really nice handle here. It's got a very large grip with, for your fingers and um, big enough that this is easy enough to maneuver. You also have an adjustment rod here so if you want to have this extend you could do that as well it additionally has a clip here so if I move this in I can actually clip it to the inside of this so it'll stay up instead of falling down um, this is overall really well made you do also have some storage compartments so here you can see there's one here one here and then you also have um, on the front here a capability where this can actually come down so if you had things that you were loading or unloading this almost is like a door that can be moved up or down with the hinges that are on the sides um, you do also have some additional straps here that you can use as needed um, as well as these buckles to kind of strap this in if you don't want it coming down on its own on the other side um, we have a large storage pocket and then you also have a zipper pocket on the inside as well so there's tons of storage with this um, ideally they don't recommend this for children um, you probably could have a child sit in it but there are no seat belts or anything like that so if you had like a young one we have a two and a half year old girl and you know she was in this she could easily just stand up and potentially fall out of it if we weren't paying attention whereas we do have another cart that's designed for her that has seat belts built into it and is a similar size so ideally not really recommended for kids more for if you're going to the beach you got a bunch of stuff you're bringing with you you want to roll this down to the beach with you something like that or you're going camping whatever it may be this would be really great um, right now I'm just bringing it around in my garage but overall you know this gives you full maneuverability you can go pretty much any direction you want very very easily and then when you're done you simply just throw it in the locking handle and if you want to store it away when you're not using it just pull it up and you're good to go put it in the bag and um, that's it anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed my video review thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later